Paramount Ambulance, what's your emergency? I remember the first time that I was going lights and sirens to a call. Where are you at right now? And it was actually kind of a, a surreal thing for me because we were actually going to a transport and they needed to go and they needed to go fast. You get the adrenaline rush and you're really excited constantly. Your mind is racing and you're trying to figure out what you're doing. My heart was definitely pounding the whole time. I was like, is this, I don't know what to do. Like, I mean, we're going, we're going fast, but like, should I be excited? Should I be calm? EMS as a career is not just all about the excitement. It's not about running lights and sirens. It's not about responding fast and running through traffic. It's about providing care for the patient. Now, whenever we turn on lights and sirens and we go to a call, it's in a professional manner. It's with the intent of providing quality care. We're doing this because we're gonna help somebody. It's not because, man, this is exciting. It's about being there for a patient who is sick. They're hurt. They don't want to call an ambulance when they do, but they need you there. I don't want people to have these accidents, but I want to be there when they do. When someone's hurt or someone is struggling to breathe or they're having chest pain, I can sit there and be like, I know what to do with this. I can help you. Essentially, when we come to work, we're coming to work to respond whenever the phone goes off. And that might mean you got through your truck check-in, you cleaned your truck, and you're ready to go. It might mean you had to clock in five minutes early to make sure that you could get on this call. It's not like a regular job where you can come in and know what you're going to do and make a list and say, this is what I'm going to do whenever I get into work. We have uh, people that are completely unconscious, are relying on us to do their breathing for them through our ventilators, administer the medications that keep them going and keep it on a smooth ride. So it really just has an entirely broad spectrum of every day is different, from lifting grandma up off on the floor to really being, you know, the lungs for somebody and getting them to where they need to be. From the beginning, a patient is not excited to be in the back of an ambulance. So I always like to provide my patient with reassurance that we're taking them to the hospital. I tell them every step of the way just to make them feel more comfortable in my care. Just being able to be that person that can kind of bring the calm to the storm is just really a rewarding experience because they, they have no idea what's going on. This is not normal for them. A lot of times we're referred to as the unsung heroes. We are the people that don't necessarily get the thank yous. We don't necessarily get the appreciation that some people might expect us to get, but that is definitely not what it's about. It's going back and just knowing that you did what you were supposed to do when no one else was looking. When no one else could be there to critique or judge, you did the best thing that you could do for that patient. And they might not know that you were extra nice to them. They might not know that you adjusted their pillow or gave them an extra blanket or um, did any of that for them. They might not know, but you'll know. When you drop a patient off at the hospital or you take them home or you're taking them to some level of care, you're doing for them what they can't do for themselves. You transfer them off to a nurse and you can tell that you have made a difference and that they are better off than they were before you had got there. Uh, I've had a lot of patients that by the time I've dropped them off, they were smiling. When I picked them up, they were crying. It's, it's, it's a complete difference based on the care that we've provided. I truly love working in EMS. It's fun, it's fast paced, and it's full of challenges. But it's also very rewarding. Regardless of if a patient says thank you, I'm still gonna show up tomorrow. I'm still gonna be there. I'm gonna make sure that I'm providing care to every other patient just the same.